and we are gonna hit S and we're gonna wait a minute wait a minute that's not the decoupler that's not decoupling uh oh uh oh oh you know it's bad when it freezes oh there it goes <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> there's another frame. It's like somebody's taking pictures. Oh, never mind. There it goes. Ah, it exploded. That's what I was kind of waiting for. Uh, not quite as smooth as I would like it to be, but that's the first time I've seen a creation lag that bad. I don't really know what's up with that. Anyways, I think we're ready to move on to another creation, hopefully a little less laggy one. Oh, right, so I think it's time to check out this Topo Missile Launcher. This thing looks massive. If it's anything like the one I had in Scrap Mechanic, oh yes, this thing's huge. Oh, look at that, he even has instructions on here, okay. Let's spawn this. Hopefully it's not as laggy as the last thing, come on. Ah, it's a little bit laggy, but this one's definitely much better than the last creation in terms of lag. Yep, this looks just like the one I created in Scrap Mechanic. Now, he's got two versions of this. Uh, he's got the armed one, and he's got the unarmed one. But, I mean, obviously, who wants to drive around the unarmed one? This is Brick Rigs. Uh, ooh, now, question is, on a Topol Missile Launcher, normally the cap comes off, and then it shoots out the rocket. I should probably read some instructions here before we actually attempt to launch this thing. Oh, boy. I kind of want to say the whole thing launches. That is very possible. Let's read this. So, Alt, AD, just height, be ready to dis, coupler. Oh, disengage coupler. I'm, I don't even know what I'm reading here. And then ignite it. Uh, I don't know if I can remember that. I'm not very good with, with instructions, so. All right, so I think I figured out how to launch this thing. We're going to hold the Alt key, and we are going to hit S. And we're going to, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not the decoupler. That's not decoupling. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, you know it's bad when it freezes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. Huh. How in the heck do I decouple this? Uh, let's go and hit the repair button. Let's see if they fix that. Oh. Well, I guess they somewhat fixed it. I didn't explode on impact there. Uh, let's see. I need to figure out how to decouple this thing, because if not, I'm just going to take me with the missile, and I don't particularly want to go with it, so let's figure this out. Alright, it is time for a complete and utter devastation of the city by the Topol Missile Launcher. This time, I promise I won't be attached to it, so figured out how to work this thing. It's a little tricky. We're going to lift this bad boy up. I'm going to adjust the camera. We're going to go into free cam and hopefully slow it down just a bit. Uh, the frame rate's a little bit better actually out here in the grass. Hmm, I wonder if that's the right angle. I'm assuming this thing has plenty of power, so what we're gonna do here, I need to find the coupler, which is right up about... It's right there, so I've gotta be ready to basically hold the rocket down, then decouple it, so hopefully I can accomplish that in kind of one little swift action, so let's hold down the Alt-S, and here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that, and up, uh, disengage, disengage, <laughs> why is it not working, uh oh, uh oh, uh, uh oh, I did it again, I did it again, at least this time we're not gonna like level half the block, it's just gonna level ourselves, I kinda feel like this is what it's like to be in the North Korean missile program, oh right, so I figured out exactly what I was doing wrong, I just wasn't disengaging the coupler right, so, what we're going to do, we're actually going to go into a slower mode, point one, I guess, is what we need to be in. And then we're going to go ahead and activate the rockets. And I'm going to disengage. No, not that. There we go. Disengage the coupler. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be great. All right, let's try to follow this. That whole thing launches. That's ridiculous. And it's going to hit this one poor little garage. Nope, that's not a garage. Oh, nope, it's gonna hit this. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. That's the destruction I've come to love from Brick Rigs. Wow. That is a lot. Okay, that's definitely packed full of thrusters. Yeah, you can see all the little thrusters in there. That is amazing. All right, let's go full speed. I waited a little bit too long, I would say, to disengage the coupler, and it's just kind of raining fire and death. Wow, those parts really made it a long ways. That's impressive. All right, so we are gonna attempt this again. I'm gonna launch it a lot higher this time and just see kind of what happens here. So we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. That way I can get to the decoupler faster and slow down time. And let's go launch and disengage. Oh yes, we got it that time. Definitely. All right, so those are gonna stay on. 
That thing has a lot of power, and I believe he's got layers of thrusters in this. And are we gonna overshoot everything? That is amazing. That is definitely the highest rocket launch that I've ever seen in Brick Rigs. And I don't know if I was doing the other ones wrong, which is very possible, but yeah, I think we're gonna clear the city. That's actually a little disappointing. Come on, die out. Uh, it's starting to angle down. It's actually twisting a little bit. I think the weight is slightly off. It's going to speed this up a bit. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Where's it going? Bye, Mr. Rocket. Mr. Rocket's going to go out of, out of the map here. Um, It's going to hit the boundary, maybe? No? Where are you going? All right. Well, you just you go over there, and it's gone. All right, so this is like attempt number I don't even know anymore. So here we go. Let's go there. Disengage. All right, you got to carry a little bit more this time. I've got it a little bit higher than the last one. It's just like a sweet spot. And I might, might have hit it. It's still carrying. It does look like it's traveling upward. Oh, this looks sweet. Oh, it is starting to go up. Actually, the bottom end is going to swing out here. Is it going to clip the building? No, it's going to miss that one. And it's going to be a direct impact right there. There we go. That's what I was wanting to see. Uh, let's go and back off just a little bit. That is still amazing. That's like the best part of this game is the, uh, is the explosion physics and just the way it looks, the graphics of it. Ah, it's awesome. Now, if it could only be a little bit more dynamic, I would love to be able to like blow the buildings in half, but... Definitely, nonetheless, that is a very impressive creation by Verdef with the help of Sean's rocket. So, definitely really cool. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, so our next creation is a Howitzer Truck version 2 by Pern1042. Doesn't really have any instructions, but this is pretty self-explanatory, I think. So, let's go ahead and spawn this bad boy and... You know what? This thing's huge and this one doesn't lag. Huh. Maybe, okay, that isn't a trailer though, it's just straight, so this thing can be probably a little bit of a pain to turn. But realistically, we're not here for the turning ability, we're here for the humongous guns on the back. That's pretty cool looking, uh, hold on, ignore it while I do this, uh, this 20 point turn here. And there we go. Alright, so we got this massive cannon on the back. Question is, does the massive cannon work? I would only assume so? But, let's go in operation mode. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. It's got the dual guns. Now, sometimes when you shoot guns off in uh, brick rigs here, it actually blows off the guns. So, let's see how it handles them. Oh, beautifully. Doesn't destroy the creation at all. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's hit this one right beside us here. This might be a bit too close, but... Nope. Ah, one shot there. That's impressive. Okay. I feel like we can level like half the city really quick with this thing. There's one there, a couple over there, hit that building over there. Ah, this would be a fun thing to uh, play around with in a uh, multiplayer. Which, by the way, I'm still trying to get that together. I gotta figure out what I was gonna do. I kind of lost track and stopped playing Brick Rigs there for a little bit. And I was like, man, I really should have done a multiplayer session. So, still down for that. And I think this might be something I'd use because. This thing would give somebody a kind of an unfair advantage. Oh, it's going to hit both buildings. There they go. That is so awesome. And we can just drive off like nothing happened. Now, I kind of do want to see this thing blow up, though, because it's uh, really, really, pretty big. It's got quite a few parts. Uh, the only thing that's really upsetting, you like the big explosions when you have huge creations, but the problem is when you hit the train and the game freezes up and freaks out, sometimes you like to see that destruction in real time, and that's what I'm going to go for here. So obviously we got to take it out and let it get hit by the train. And oh, speaking of the devil, the train's right there. Let's go ahead and cut it off. There we go. <laughs> split us in half. Wow. That really split us in half. That's weird. Normally in Brick Rigs fashion, that probably would have exploded us, but that's the first time I've seen a creation like, what the heck? Okay. Apparently I'm supposed to stand over here. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen a creation actually cut in half. My question is, does it still drive? No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, that's why it doesn't drive. How did the driver's seat flip over like that? See the big beefy motor? Like, if the driver's seat wouldn't have flipped over, we would have been fine. The motor's still intact right there, so... 
Eh, it's pretty awesome. I say we do that one more time. We might need to do it uh, the other way, though, to get a more satisfying crunch. All right, we're going to be carrying a lot more speed this time when we hit the train. Hopefully, it's coming around the corner. There it is. All right, oh, I hope the track, to, oh, the crossing. Okay, we're good. All right, more speed, more speed, more speed. Now, let's turn in front of it. There we go. That was that explosion I was wanting. Where'd the, where'd the vehicle go? Oh, it's way up there. Huh. That was impressive. Uh, let's speed along here. Let's see. Check the debris field. Really, the only thing that happened is we took out a fence. Yep, train's still fine. Oh, the city's seen better days. All right, so I have one more creation to show you guys. This is the Miramax Super Heavy by Commander Pancakes. That's a absolutely fantastic name. Mr. Pancakes. Now, this is like a tank destroyer. Now, question is, how does it handle... How does it... Oh, of course Brick Riggs would spawn me right here. Hmm, can we get ourselves out of this situation? Wow, this thing's impressive looking, actually. It's got four guns. And, oh, look at the way the wheels turn. He's got them actually angled differently. So I'm holding A all the way. You can see some of the uh, middle wheels don't turn as much as the back wheels. And I think that's on purpose. Oh, this thing swings around quite nicely. I'm not going to have to do a 20-point turn to get out of here. That is cool. All right, let's back off a bit. I'm pretty sure this gun might work the same way as the last gun we checked out. So let's go Operation... Is that a piston? I don't... I don't understand what's happening here. That looks like a camera. It's like a little camera. Okay. Is this thing fire? How does this work? Uh, those are bound to go up. Oh, they do. All right, let's... uh. Oh, where's the actual driver's seat at? Oh, it's way down here in the butt. All right, let's go ahead and go up here. So, this thing actually does work. Let's go back into operation mode. So that controls the camera. There's the gun turret. Oh, that is so cool. So it's got an adjustable camera. So you can see exactly what you're targeting here. So, oh, that is really close. That is awesome. Okay, this might be one of my new favorite Brick Ricks creations. This is cool. So yeah, we can just adjust that. We can go downward. Now, does the camera doesn't happen? It doesn't flow with the... Yeah, it doesn't actually flow with the gun. So you kind of have to move the mouse and the turret to keep them somewhat together. I'm pretty sure you'll get out of range if the turret's like this high. What does that look like? No, I, I actually still can't see it. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Can we hit that building? There we go. Let's go back into this camera. Let's go back into driving mode here. That is awesome. I don't know. Is this actually... I, I might be asking a dumb question here. Is this based on something real or fantasy? Because if this is real, I would be absolutely terrified to see this in my backyard. I mean, I'd be kind of cool and a little bit in awe before it blows me up. But this is definitely something that... I don't know. It's just unique. It's unique how the whole fact that the, uh, the front wheels don't even line up with the back wheels. It's a little skinnier in the front. And then, of course, you've got the massive guns on the top, which is impressive. That is cool. You know, I almost don't even want to destroy this creation. This is like one of those creations you just got to set back and kind of admire its beauty. But nothing's too beautiful to not destroy. So I think we're going to do something for old time's sake. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy right here, and we're going to end this with a bang. So you go right here, or you keep rolling, whichever way you would like to do this. And we're going to go pick up one more creation here, and we're going to blow everything up real quick. All right, well, I've got to go back to my trusty bomb truck here by Mr. B. Frunchentung. I don't want to pronounce that. You can read it there on screen. I have no clue what that says. I've used this creation before because, it, I mean, obviously, look at it. It's gonna explode, and that's all we need. Oh, I don't care about a high brick count here. So, it is time to, whoa, whoa, I forgot this one's attached to all of the thrusters itself. All right, uh, no, 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 slow down. Oh, 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 no, it still exploded. <laughs> I thought there for a second we were gonna get away with that. All right, so it's time to go out with a bang here. Let's go ahead and aim our guns down. No, not the camera, the guns. There we go, there we go, there we go. Down, down, down. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. If you have any suggestions for Brick Rigs, comment below. Leave a like if you liked the video. Everything helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, might consider hitting that button too. We have plenty of content coming out daily. But anyways, folks, 
Hopefully you had a good time here today and we're gonna hit this explosion button. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. oh, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, folks, I wanna thank you guys for all the continued love and support. We will go ahead and probably check out some more brick rigs here in the future. Maybe do some multiplayer sessions and stuff like that. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.